we have our dialog shell. And I want to actually work with this, so let's first eliminate some buttons that we're not going to need here. Let's hide those from the dialog. And now let's change the title of the window. about <clears throat> and now let's actually work on the message box itself let's change the dialog type to be informational and let's actually put some information in there so Let's go in to the message string. Let's fill that out. We can say schema t3 demonstration. Let's add a copyright, for example. And let's talk about the application. Let's do something like that. Got that, let's apply it. I can dismiss miss this. And let's adjust the GUI box to be its natural size. Now we have a, an about box. But we need to tell the application that we want that about box pop up every time somebody clicks the about menu button. So to do that we're going to use a pre-existing or especially recognized callback as our activate callback for the about button. And we're going to say to manage the shell. Now we want to call the shell something special so let's call it our out dialog shell and about message box like so and so now inside of our about let's go to the callback select manage and now we're going to say to manage the about message box message now managing that will automatically manage the dialog shell and cause it to pop up. So let's accept that, apply it, and dismiss it. And now we don't really need this message box to be displayed every time the application opens. We only need it to show up when somebody clicks the about button. So let's hide it as we just did and now we can actually test out our application. So let's go into play mode. And now here we have a live ver running version of our text editor. So if I click help and I go to about, see the about message pops up right there. Click OK and it'll disappear. Now unfortunately we don't have any way of exiting the application yet. We can't get out of it because we haven't tied any functionality to that. So We'll go back into build mode, and we will add the exit functionality to our program. Again, we're going to be using a pre-made callback that comes with BX Pro, and that's going to be the exit callback. And now, we go into play mode again. If we exit, it will exit the application. And there, 
our callback states. For the open file and save file dialogs, we actually want to pull up two separate dialogs. Cut, copy, and paste, their callbacks are going to be slightly different, but we're going to have to create a custom callback for each of these. So let's do the easier ones first and do open file, save file. And let's see what that looks like. So we're going to create two more dialogues for opening a file and saving a file. So let's select our main window again. Let's do a file selection dialog. And let's create one more of those. So now we have two of these dialogues. And let's adjust which one is which. So let's call this one the open file dialog shell. Let's call this one save file dialog shell. And now this file selection box, let's call it the open file selection box. And of course the same thing, save file selection box. Okay, so now we have these two dialogues that we can work with. And let's adjust their behavior. So let's select the open file dialog here. And let's change the uh, let's change the dialog title for that page to open file. And similarly, let's change the title for the save. Now, in the save, the selection text probably might be more suited if we said something like save file as. And this selection, maybe we could say, you know, open file. Or maybe file to open. The other labels here seem okay, so I'm going to leave those as is. But they both have these help buttons, which we are not going to use. So let's show their components and let's hide those, since we don't need those around. And now we have these two pieces showing up. And let's give the cancel buttons on these two something to worry about. So our cancel callbacks are empty right now, but we want canceling to close or unmanage the dialogs. So we're editing the open, so we want to unmanage the open file selection box. And similarly for the save, selection box, we want to unmanage the save file selection box. And now we should be able to work with them by tying the activate callbacks to manage the appropriate dialogs. So if we open the file, we want to manage the open file selection box. And if we hit the save file button, our activate callback should manage 
the save file selection box. And there we go. So now we can hide these two since we don't need to work with them anymore. They're all set up. And now we have our application all like we want. About. Exit the application, but we can also open a file and save a file. Unfortunately, even though we may open a file and we could select a file, our OK callback has not been tied to anything. So these callbacks won't do anything. But we actually want to fill those in with scheme code because the scheme code is going to be doing the actual system file system operations. So that we will save till later. But there we have it a complete text editor GUI, very simple, very quick and easy to write up, but it has the basics, and everything is ready now for us to do our scheme side of the work. So we'll continue that in part two.